News 3 is taking action for your money. Now, if you plan to make a Roth IRA conversion for 2021, you really need to do it before the end of the year. News 3 anchor Todd Carrillo talked with our financial expert Carl Carlson to find out what it involves and why it might benefit some people. Anytime you do something in your financial plan, every action has a reaction. So always make sure you're understanding that because if you convert a traditional IRA to a Roth IRA, you're gonna to have to pay all the taxes on that IRA when you do the conversion. So the year that you convert. Now, let's talk about kind of the differences. An IRA, you don't pay taxes on the money you put into your IRA. So it grows and the taxes accumulate. And when you eventually take the money out, that's when you pay the taxes. That's a normal IRA or a 401k, that's what happens. Well, with a Roth IRA, the money, you pay tax on the money before you put it in, then as it grows, it grows tax-free. And when you take the money out, it's tax-free. So you have a lot of tax-free benefits with the Roth IRA. Now, the difference we're gonna talk about just real quick is the difference between a contribution and a conversion. So you can do a contribution to your retirement plan at work or your IRA or your Roth IRA. The IRAs are limited to 6,000 a year. If you're over 50, it's 7,000. But when you convert an IRA to a Roth IRA, there's no limit. You could convert a $100,000 IRA to a Roth IRA anytime you want, but you just have to know you got to pay the taxes when you do it. So what would the benefit be to doing that? Someone might see this on the, uh, on the surface and say, why would I want to pay all those taxes? What is the benefit to doing that? <laughs> right, Todd, because sometimes paying all those taxes is painful, but you have to think about the long term, not just the short term. So it may be that when you retire, your tax bracket that you're in may, may be actually higher. We're seeing that with clients that are retiring now never dreamt that would happen when they were younger. So they were putting all the money in the tax deferred plan. And now they got all these taxes or tax brackets higher. So they're wishing they would have either contributed to the Roth or done a Roth conversion somewhere during their working lifetime. Or you can even do them after you retire to get it over there and pay the tax. Because the other thing is, even if the tax bracket is the same when you retire that it is for you today, it may be that tax rates go up. And right now, they, there's a sunset on our current tax rates where they're automatically going up in 2026. So it might make sense to convert that between now and 2026 so that you get it out in a lower tax rate. 